The topic is Ampere circuit law and the introduction of Maxwell's equation. Ampere circuit law states that the line integral of h vector around a closed path is the same as the net current enclosed by the path. This is a statement of Ampere circuit law and the mathematically the Ampere circuit law is closed line integration h vector dot dl vector that is equals to i enclosed. i enclosed is a charge enclosed. So this is an integral form of Ampere circuit law. This is the circulation of h vector. The circulation of h vector is determined by the closed line integration h dot dl. That circulation of h vector is equals to current enclosed. So for Ampere circuit law, we consider a conductor carry a DC current or CD current flowing. Surrounding this conductor, there is a magnetic field. The direction of the magnetic field is determined by the right hand rule. So on this closed path, that is the direction of the magnetic field, we take a differential length, small length DL vector. Now, the, the direction of the magnetic field H makes a tangent to this closed path that is in the direction of phi because the, here we consider a cylindrical coordinate system. The direction of magnetic field intensity H is along the unit vector phi. So, the vector H makes some angle theta with respect to DL vector. So, by taking the dot product of H vector and DL vector around a closed path is equals to current enclosed. This is called the Ampere's circuit law and it is analogous to the Gauss's law in case of electrostatics. Now, since there is a closed path and we know that the closed in path defines some open surface. So, there is a relationship between closed path and surface. That relation is given by the Stokes theorem. So, here we apply a Stokes theorem. According to Stokes theorem, the closed line integration S dot DL is equals to surface integration of curl of H dot DS. So, after applying the Stokes theorem, the left side becomes surface integration curl of H dot DS that is equals to I enclose. And we can also define the current in terms of current density. So, I enclose equals to surface integration J dot ds. Here, J is called the current density. So, after this, we create it and we find that the curl of H is equals to J vector. Means, the circulation of H is equals to current density J vector. This is a Ampere's law in differential form. The above is the Ampere's law is in integral form and the second one is the Ampere's law in differential form. And this is curl of H equals to J vector that is called a Maxwell's equation that is a third Maxwell's equation. So, this is about the Ampere's law and the introduction of Maxwell's equation. Here the Maxwell's equation is curl of H equals to J vector. Now, since the curl of H is not equal to 0, it is equal to J vector, then we can say that the magnetostatic field is not conservative. If curl of H is equal to 0, then we can say that magnetic field is conservative. But here, the curl of H is not equal to 0, it is equal to J vector, that is current density vector. Now, Applications of Ampere's law. Ampere's law is used where there is a symmetrical current distribution. It is analogous to Gauss's law. And the Ampere's law is used to determine the magnetic intensity H, such as infinite line current, infinite sheet of current, and infinitely long coaxial transmission line. So, there are three cases where we have to determine the magnetic intensity H by using Ampere's law. So, in this 
three cases we apply Ampere's law that is closed line integration S dot dl equals to I enclosed. As the current distribution is symmetrical, the magnetic field intensity H is either parallel or perpendicular to dl vector. So, with the help of Ampere's law, we can determine the magnetic field intensity H at symmetrical current distribution in case of infinite line current, infinite sheet of current and infinite long coaxial transmission line. The first current element is infinite line current and we have to determine the magnetic field intensity H at any point by using Ampere circuit law. Since this is a line having infinite dimensions, so the current distribution is symmetrical, then we apply a Ampere circuit law. Now, we consider an infinite line that is an infinite conductor which carries a current I in the positive Z direction. Now, as the current I is a DC current or a steady current, so there is a magnetic field surrounding this conductor and the direction of the magnetic field is given by the right hand rule. So, we have to determine the magnetic field intensity at some point. So, we consider a point P on Y axis. So, there is a point P on the y axis and its coordinate is 0, y is because any point on the y axis having coordinate x equals to 0 and z equals to 0. So, we consider point P on y axis having a coordinate 0, y 0. Now, we assume a closed path. That closed path passes through this point P. Now, this closed path is a closed loop which having a radius rho. Rho is the radius of this circle or a loop that is a closed loop. Now, the radius rho makes some angle phi with respect to x axis. Here we consider a cylindrical coordinate system having coordinate rho phi and z. Rho is the radius of this assumed closed path. Phi is the angle made by rho with respect to x and z is the coordinate of the conductor situated on z axis. So, here the closed path that is assumed closed path is called Amperian path that is analogous to Gaussian surface in case of electrostatics. So, on, on this closed path since the rho that is the radius of the circle is constant then the magnetic field intensity H is also constant along this closed path. Now, due to symmetry of the current element that is the infinite line current, we apply a ampere circuit law that is closed line integration S dot dl is equals to I enclosed. And since the system is radical coordinate system, so we have to determine the dot product of H vector and dl vector. The H vector in cylindrical coordinate system written as H rho unit vector rho plus H phi unit vector phi plus Sz unit vector Z. Here the magnetic field intensity H has three component H rho, H phi and Sz. Now what is DL vector? DL vector is the differential length in cylindrical coordinate system that is given as D rho unit vector rho plus rho D phi unit vector phi plus Dz unit vector Z. Now since the assumed ampere and closed path is situated on xy plane that is at Z equals to 0 and rho is also constant that is the radius of the circle. Since the two values rho and z is constant at for a point P, in this case d rho equals to dz that is equals to 0. In this case, we get a dl vector that is rho d phi unit vector phi. Now, after taking a dot product of h vector and dl vector, we get only phi component. So, put it in the formula of MPA circuit law that is close line integration s dot dl equals to i. So, h vector is h phi unit vector phi dot dl is rho d phi unit vector phi. The dot product of two unit vectors that is unit vector phi dot unit vector phi is 1. So, we get h phi rho d phi. Here the integration is with respect to phi because there is a differential term that is d phi. So, we take it with integration term and others are we have as constant. So, we put in outside this integration. So, h phi rho is a constant taking outside and within the integration there is a d phi. And the limit, the limit of phi is from 0 to 2 pi because phi is the angle made by radius rho 
from 0 to 2 pi to make a closed path. So, the closed close integration of d phi having limit 0 to 2 pi is 2 pi. So, the h phi component is equal to i upon 2 pi rho. This is the magnetic field intensity in terms of magnitude and its component is along phi, unit vector phi. So, it has a phi component only and its values is i upon 2 pi rho. Now, in terms of vector, the h vector is equal to i upon 2 pi rho here in vector phi. So, this is a vector form and this is a magnetic field intensity due to infinite line current. That infinite line current is situated on z axis and the current is flowing towards positive direction of z. Here we can apply the Ampere circuit law due to the symmetrical distribution of line current and the formula is same that is h vector equals to i upon 2 pi rho unit vector phi that is obtained by using the Bayer-Seurat's law in case of infinite line current. So, since the current distribution is symmetrical, so we can apply the Ampere circuit law and it make easy calculation to determine the magnetic intensity h at any point p.